Well, hello there. Welcome to day 1,431 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Hornelson here, documenting and sharing the journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business and back and forth from 2020, probably for the rest of my life, I will have my fingers in both pies and in both worlds. I like to uh, separate both worlds. In 2017, I, uh, following my divorce, had the opportunity to come online, do whatever I wanted, but I decided I'd been curious about the online world. I was going to check it out. So 2017 to now, I've been online. I really wasn't online at all prior to that. I had a Facebook account, which I did very little in, except when I was in a network marketing company, which I'm embarrassed to say, because I did everything wrong back then with respect to what you do online and social media and selling and stuff. It's the way we were taught, still embarrassed that I fell for it and, and participated. Uh, we, we do better once we know better, right? Well, today we're going to talk about be all, do it now, and then 10G soap review because we uh, just had day 30, which is the summary and review day for our get up and go challenge. Talked about the different tools we covered. We covered at least 30 different tools during the challenge uh, that people can use moving forward in their life, not only for dealing with changes and challenges, but dealing with other areas and aspects of their life, whatever uh, is appropriate for the tools we cover. But it's a great way to share a lot of tools and techniques that have spent me decades to learn with, with other people and apply them in a way using a framework, a simple four-step process, same framework called the SOAP framework, to install that in our subconscious throughout the course of the month so that after the challenge, dealing with changes and challenges becomes automatic. It becomes as easy as breathing. So today we did a summary and a review and talked about what we covered during the 30 days. And we're going to have a bonus day tomorrow. I always do one more day on my challenges with the exception of this year's annual challenge, which I'm not going to do because I skipped a page or two during the year because I didn't want to do them. I skipped one just yesterday, I think, or the day a few days ago. It was a color me one. And I'm like, I'm not doing it. So I skipped it. I guess I skipped the 20 or the weekend without technology as well, but I still have to schedule that. So I'll have to do a, a follow-up day sometime in 2022, whenever I schedule that weekend and let people know how it went. So today our challenge was uh, to do to basically, I'm going to look it up because it was a pretty good one. Um, Doris Lessing says, whatever you're meant to do, do it now. The conditions are always impossible. And so we're sharing what we're going to do today because conditions for whatever we want to do they're never perfect right I've never started a business when conditions were perfect if I waited for things to be perfect I never ever would have even started my first business and now I'm I don't know 30 some businesses in so what and I wouldn't change it for the world did I make a lot of mistakes of course but that's how we learn uh, so I love this I think that's a great saying for today and we've got one more for the end of the year tomorrow tomorrow I can't believe it's the end of 2021 already uh, it's been a, a interesting busy crazy weird year but uh, like every year there's there's highs there's lows there's goods there's bads and we just take what we want from it and we just leave the rest behind and let it go uh, so the soap framework was all about review and summary and tomorrow we'll talk about transformation we'll do our transformation day tomorrow i always like to do the transformation on the bonus day because people think it's all over and then boom we go back and we say okay well did i transform how do i know because that is also part of the soap framework how do i know if i'm making progress p is for progress how do i know i'm moving toward what i want from where i am right now how do i know so we're going to use a tool transformation tool and a rating tool to measure that so that we can take something that's very subjective and actually measure it, apply a number to it so we could track it and graph it if we want to. I could go back and I could graph my transformation through each of the previous nine challenges. I haven't done that. Maybe I'll do that before tomorrow. Probably not, but maybe. So our I started this one with be all because our idiom for supersize your business today, we are doing my little fun Christmas bear and I, I didn't eat the chocolates yet, but I'm sure I will probably tomorrow before the end of the year. Uh, we are talking about different idioms for the month of December. We did cold weather ones and we did a, about a week of Christmas hot because it was Christmas week, at least for me and the people that believe what I believe uh, here in the United States. And now till the end of the year, which means tomorrow will be the last one, we are going to do one more ending type idiom. It usually has the word end in it. So today's was 
the be all and end all, which was related to and what I really originally found was the something to end all some things. But the something to end all some things is basically the be all and end all, but in a headline form to market or sell something, right? Maybe it's the title of a book or maybe it's the title of a, a newspaper article or something or the title of a web page. But the something to end all some things, we've all seen that before. It's a very common, because it works, popular headline. It gets people to read. Well, what the heck is this? best in the world of something. I want to know about it too. Uh, so I talked about how do we use that in our businesses to supersize and grow our businesses. How do you supersize and grow your business? Well, by being the be all and end all, but it's the be all and end all for whoever it is you want to serve, for the group of people, for the industry, for the environment, for the geographic area, whatever it is that you decide, you choose that you want to be the be all and end all for. And then you only have to be the be all and the end all for that thousand people or 10,000 people or a million people. You don't have to be it for all seven plus billion on the planet, right? Not for everybody. Uh, holy buckets. Tomorrow is the last day of the year and I will admit I am not ready. I don't have everything set in motion for next year yet, but we never do. Nothing's ever perfect. We just take actions and move forward. I uh, don't have everything mapped out for next year's annual challenge. I, I've been thinking about it since August, but I don't have it 100% solidified in my mind and done. So I'll be working on that a little bit sometime today. Uh, I do actually schedule some time to, to work on that today. That's it. That's all I've got. It's, it's, it's a swarmy, swampy, busy day. It's been busy already. It's going to continue to be busy all day today and tomorrow as we finish things up and tie up some loose ends. Uh, if I can help you in any way, if you have any questions, ask. Otherwise, I am early wishing you an absolutely amazing transformation between this year and next year and an awesome 2022. I'm sure I'll say it again tomorrow. But uh, thank you for listening to my ramblings and my journaling and my documenting the journey as I make uh, my business moves and transitions. If you've got a business related in, in either the offline world or the online world question, hit me up. I've been involved in 27 different businesses and industries offline and I haven't even kept count of the businesses and industries I've been involved in online because it's so easy to be involved in, in literally hundreds and thousands of businesses, different businesses and industries online because the online world, I, I believe for a long time, but I didn't actually do it when I was in the offline world exclusively. I believed everybody needed an online presence, but I didn't know how to get there. And over the last few years, I've learned easily and quickly how to get there. So it, you create something and it's, wow, if 2020 proved anything to us, it was that it's absolutely imperative that you have a digital online presence because you never know what's going to happen. We didn't anticipate COVID. At least I never anticipated COVID. So if I can help you away, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.